Jeff Williams here, that's JeffWilliams.com. And today I'm gonna to show you my five top places to find gold in New York State. All that and a whole lot more coming up. Excellent! For those of you out there that don't know who I am, my name is Jeff Williams. I'm a certified geologist and I'm gonna show you where to find gold. Now this is Manhattan Schist. And if you look at this rock, it tells a story. See the striations running across it? All the schist up here has the same pattern. It's when the glaciers were moving across and it scoured all of this rock. As the glaciers are moving across, it can deposit small specks of gold in the cracks of this bedrock. And that's one of the things we have to understand when we're looking for gold here in New York State. Because there's not a lot of low deposits here, but there is a lot of glacier gold here. Now all of the gold that was brought down to New York was brought from Canada, the Abitibi Greenstone Belt brought it down here like a big bulldozer. And as it pushed across, it crushed all this rock and ground it out, it deposited the gold. And you can find it in the little cracks and crevices in the bedrock. Now you'll see a whole bunch of quartz veins running through this schist. And it looks like it would be prime location for low deposits. There are some low deposits that people won't tell you about. But I'm gonna tell you everything I know so you can get out there and find gold in New York State too. All right, coming in at number one, it's the Adirondacks. Now that mountain chain is 160 miles wide and about a mile high. And geologically speaking, it's new on the scene. It's only about five million years old. Now if you look carefully in through those mountain chains, you'll see erratics. Erratics are the large rocks that have been left behind after glaciers have melted. Those are the stones that are trapped inside the ice as it's dragging across and it'll deposit them. You'll see them in the strangest places. And of course there's garnets there that are associated with the schist. Now my second location is east of the Catskill mountain range. The Catskills have long been known to rumor have gold deposits in there and even low gold. Now my number three location is the Finger Lakes in upstate New York. Finger Lakes were created by the glaciers coming down and cutting long grooves into the bedrock. Once they thawed and melted, they filled them with water, creating the Finger Lakes that you see today. Now, most of the rivers and tributaries in that entire area has fine glacier gold in it. All right, number four, along the Hudson and the Delaware River and all the tributaries that feed into it, not to mention Prospect Park. Now, Prospect Park has got a long history to it. Matter of fact, it was part of the Revolutionary War in 1775. It was called the Battle of Long Island. Some people call it the Battle of Brooklyn. The majority of that war was fought in Battle Pass. Now, Battle Pass is the top of the moraine. What you need to do is get a glacial map that shows you exactly the patterns where the glaciers came down and receded. What you're gonna see, terminal moraine and a lateral moraine. The terminals are the front, like the front of a bulldozer. The laterals are on the side. And then underneath and in front is tilt. Now, what you wanna look for is where the edges of these lateral moraines are, and then you're gonna look for what's called an outwash. It's where water that has melted off the glacier has run through the front of these moraines. And if you look at the maps, you'll see that there's a huge terminal moraine that cuts right through Brooklyn and right into New Jersey, dumping all that gravel. Now for a lot of you gem collectors out there, you can find a lot of calcite and adventurite in the same type of material that's in Brooklyn. You can metal detect in Prospect Park, but you're gonna need a permit to do that. An interesting side note about the Hudson River is across the other side is a large black formation, a plateau. For anybody who lives in that area, they know what that is. That's the Palisade Sill. Now the sill is made up of diabase, which is like basalt. And it's a classic example of Bowen's reaction series because as the outside cooled, the inside was still hot and it cooled last and what happened was is the olivine which is inside of there crystallized out last and you can see large bands of olivine in the middle now the diabase is primarily composed of pyrazine olivine and biotite now this diabase sill averages a thickness of about a thousand feet has about a 15 degree dip to it and if you look carefully you'll see column basalt that has formed in there and is breaking off slowly all right number five is 42nd and Rockefeller. Now that's the gold and diamond district in Manhattan. And I've done videos on that before showing you where the gold is inside the cracks in the sidewalk. Now what happens is, is as the workers come out, they have small filings of gold on their clothing. And what happens is, is that gold falls off their clothing onto the sidewalk. And when it rains, water pushes it down into the cracks of the sidewalk, just like bedrock. And it stays there for a hundred years. And that includes silver, and it also includes pearls, gemstones, everything else. So all you have to do is go through and dig it up. Now I want to give a big cowboy yeehaw and shout out to a couple new premium patrons, Ryan and Connie Grizzard. Now if you're not subscribed to my channel, I want you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell icon too so you can be notified when we make future bids on geology. Now don't forget when we reach 200,000 subscribers, we're giving away 200 bags of pay dirt. It's our 200 at 200k giveaway. 
Susana today. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today's short little video on my five top places to find gold in New York State. And if you like today's video, please rate, share, and subscribe. And of course, leave me and Slim a comment because we like to know what you think about all this. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams and who you better know who, son, saying having a hard time finding gold in New York State. Follow my five tips, son, and you'll do great. Take care, everybody.